December of 2022, me and the other PhD students got noticed that we're actually gonna be getting a new PhD office, which is really exciting to us because if you've seen any of my old videos, the previous office was really old, really janky, not a pleasant space to spend hours in working. And so we've been asking for a new office for so many years and finally we're getting a really nice office. And as you can see right now, I'm actually standing in the new PhD office it's the first thing that I'm back on campus in January, 2023. So I wanna show you guys quickly what the new office is gonna look like. I'm really excited. This is the new PhD office. As you can definitely see a lot bigger, a lot more modern, a lot more light that's coming in and overall just a much nicer feel. And this is actually gonna be my desk right here. And so I have my external monitor. It's nice to have plugs coming out of the desk because before we would have to kind of crawl under the desk and find the plug in the wall. But the desks are really nice, a lot of good space. Um, I'm really liking how the chairs and the fixtures are very modern and I can definitely see myself studying here for long periods of time. So it's kind of like an open style office where we have three rows of desks and each desk have these semi frosted dividers. So it gives you a little bit of privacy, but also allows you to, you know, see the other PhD students, which I think is really nice. And what I'm really excited about is actually our PhD office now has a full-fledged kitchen. So we actually have the fridge. Um, I think they're gonna put a dishwasher in, I'm not too sure, but we got the sink, we got a microwave. It's kind of nice because now we don't have to leave the office in order to like make coffee or just kind of prepare our lunches. Whereas before we actually, we actually had to go to the faculty kitchen to kind of do all that stuff. So it's kind of nice that this is all here. Nice big table for us to have lunch, but this is also a great place to kind of host our pre-seminar student discussions. So we can have uh, student meetings here as well, which I think is really cool. Another big bonus of this new space is that we actually have a window into the outside world. The old office did not have a window. It felt super claustrophobic, but just having some natural light into the space, I think will make a huge difference for the studying environment. But overall, I am super hyped about this new space. And actually they mentioned that there was actually space in the budget for new monitors for everyone, potentially noise canceling headphones, and maybe just some things like fake plants, uh, coffee machine, just to kind of spruce this place up. And I think it's gonna have a really good positive effect on all the PhD students. Right now, I'm just gonna be taking one class for the semester. I'm auditing a archival and analytical accounting seminar. And the whole point of auditing a class is that you can participate in the class discussions, you can read the papers, but you don't have to do any of the presentations, the exams or the assignments. So it's a great way to kind of relearn a lot of the things that you learned back when I was a first year and second year PhD student, just so I can really fully understand some of these concepts. So right now, all I'm doing is just catching up on the readings for this week's lecture. So there's two papers that I need to read. And right now I'm just using my Surface Pro as a way to annotate these papers. After I annotate my paper, I do put all my notes in a Notion template where I keep all my research paper notes in a very clean and organized fashion. If you guys are interested in this template, then please check out the video below. I'll have a link in my description. Yeah, I'll do spicy. Okay. Yeah, I'll do 
So me and a couple of friends from the program decided to grab lunch together. We went to this noodle spot right next to the university. It's the first time we've seen each other since the Christmas break. And we just had a seminar from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And so we really wanted to grab some food. Went to this place, first time that I've been here. They specialize in hand-pulled noodles, which is really, really cool. I've only had it a couple times in my life. The broth is really spicy. The noodles had a nice chew to it. Overall, the restaurant was really good and it was actually pretty reasonably priced. It was around $17 for a nice big bowl of hot noodle soup, which was just perfect for the cold Canadian winter. For the past three weeks, I've been pretty busy working on a working paper with my co-author and we've been trying to get it ready for a couple of big conference submission deadlines in early January. Conferences are a great way for you to actually present your original research in front of other people, get comments from the research community, and overall see whether or not your paper has what it takes to get published in a journal. But in order to get the opportunity to present at these conferences, you have to submit your paper to these conferences months in advance. Someone at the conference will review your paper and ultimately decide whether or not they think it's good enough to present in front of a live audience or not. So right now I'm just running some final additional tests, updating the paper. Uh, we did eventually submit to the CAAA later that day. So I'm really glad that it's off my plate. I can finally forget about it for a couple months until we finally hear back from the conference on whether or not we can present or not. So. Wish us luck. I really hope we get the chance to present again.